Making news in Warren this week, the 2009 North American International Auto Show rolls into the Motor City. From concept cars to crossovers and hybrids, we'll show you all the hottest trends at this year's show. Motor City comes alive with all the glitz and glam of the 2009 North American International Auto Show. Hello everyone, I'm Lori Erla. And I'm Ember Shaplow. We've walked the entire auto show floor to bring you the best American-made vehicles on display. That's right, we're devoting our entire newscast to the auto show and to vehicles made in the USA. Our first vehicle was reintroduced this year. Fred Merle has more on the Chevy Vault. We're at the 2009 Auto Show and one of the exciting things about this show is they're thinking green. Green, yeah, like with electric cars where you don't put gas in your diesel in your car. And we have with us a designer for the Chevrolet Volt, Tim Craig. Tim, how you doing? Good, Fred. How about you? Tell me a little bit about uh, this car. You know, first it's electric. Uh, what else? What? How were you involved? In well, I'm actually the interior design manager, but the beauty of the Chevy Volt is that um, it gets rid of what we call range anxiety. You know, there's a lot of electric vehicles on the floor here today, but, but those vehicles will have a certain range, and when that range is out, you've got to really be near a plug in order to plug them back in and charge them back up, and uh, hopefully that's near your home, and hopefully you have the time to spare to charge them. What makes the Chevrolet vehicles, the Chevy Volt, so special is that we have an onboard generator, so you can go the first 40 miles on emissions-free, no emissions out of the tailpipe, 100% uh, electric energy, and then after that, though, you don't have the range anxiety because it has an onboard generator that will begin charging the battery again and keep your performance exactly where it was. The generator does not propel the vehicle. All it does is make sure that that battery has enough juice to keep, to keep you going for an additional hundreds of miles. It's, you know, like a little bit of road noise, a little bit of wind noise. Um, but yeah, the, the, the launch uh, is, is quite a different experience on an electric vehicle. Who's, who's going to be making the batteries for this? Well, we announced yesterday that LG Chem out of uh, South Korea will supply these cells for the battery, but the batteries will be assembled uh, right here in, in uh, Michigan. Okay. There's some word that it might be in the warrant. You know? No, I think we're still working with the State Department to figure out where, you know, where's the right place for that. But, uh, but the good news is it's, it's still here in the United States and, and more particularly right here in our home state of Michigan. This car that's behind you, how much does it sell for? Well, price hasn't been uh, been announced yet, and there's a lot of numbers floating out there. But I think what's important to remember is there are government incentives uh, for this vehicle. I think they, uh, I think it's seventy five hundred dollars. So there will be a cash back from the government tax incentive. Um, and more important than that, though, is it is a Chevrolet. Uh, Chevrolet's vehicles are known for their value, uh, and it's a mass production vehicle. It's not a niche vehicle, so it will be priced right for the market. So, are you going to be driving one of these? Oh, I'm driving. I'm going to own one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So you can do what they used to say: see the USA in your Chevrolet. Uh, darn right, darn right, and emissions free. Great. And that's our story here on the Volt. Red Merle reporting from the North American International Auto Show. And wouldn't that be great if that assembly plant was built in Warren? That would create nearly 15,000 jobs. Absolutely. So that would be great for the city. Mm -hmm. Everyone would have a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would be. Yeah. yeah, and there's a good chance it may happen, too. Absolutely. So. And not far from the Chevy Volt was another vehicle. The Volt started out as a concept vehicle many years ago. And now another one that everybody's got their eye on is the Chevy Beat. And Megan O'Brien has more on that. Megan? Hi, we're here at the Auto Show, and we have Nick Daniels to tell us about the new Beat. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, uh, the, the Beat, as you can see, uh, the, the design of the car is extravagant. Uh, it's a mini car. Uh, GM is going to enter the mini segment, so I, I think uh, we have a product here that will be uh, appealing to our customers. Excellent. Any info on the body? Uh, the body of the, the, the Spark is, is, you refer to it as the Beat. Uh, you know, GM is moving globally and we're trying to go with one global name around the country as this uh, vehicle will be sold in a hundred countries and, and the spark fits best as it has the, the definite ringtone for all countries so we really can't call it the beat. So it is the, the, the Chevrolet Spark 
and uh, the, the, the Spark will be here in the U.S. in 2011. Just want to make sure I had that right. 2011, the, the Spark will be here. And uh, I, it, as you can see, the design of the car, the fit and finish, the accents, uh, the GM design team has just done a phenomenal and fantastic job with, with the, the, the making of this car. And uh, I think it will be definitely, uh, as I said, appealing to the customers. Excellent. So it's very aerodynamic? Very aerodynamic. We're looking to get uh, 40 miles per gallon out of this vehicle and hopefully more if we can. But our, our target right now is uh, 40 miles per gallon. And we hope that you know, along with the, the body and the design of the, the car that it will definitely be fuel efficient for families. Excellent. Thank you very much, Nick Daniels. Back to you guys at the news desk.